Hi there, welcome back to Mike's Toy Case, I guess is what we're sticking with. And I'm doing something I've wanted to do for a long time. And that's go over uh, the Star Wars Black Series figures. Um, I have pretty much all of them collected so far in all the sets. And uh, it's been a while since I've been into collecting Star Wars figures. I used to be really big back in the 90s when it was Power of the Force. And I was super excited to see... Uh, highly detailed figures coming out and more of a six inch uh, instead of the three and three fourths inches that it used to be. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. This is the first figure of the first wave. You can see they actually numbered it. Um, this is zero one, Luke Skywalker, and as you can see, it's Luke Skywalker in his X-wing uh, pilot as he looked in uh, New Hope. Actually, probably more. Uh, Empire Strikes Back, but I think the gloves and the boots are the wrong color for that. But the reason I say that is because of the lightsaber. He didn't really have that on him, but he might have. He was only in this getup for like 10 minutes in the movie. So let's go over the packaging a little bit. So Black Series is pretty... Uh, well, it's black, really. Um, the packaging is black, matte. There's not a lot of color in it except for the orange. I'm pretty sure it's orange. I'm pretty colorblind. But I'm pre I'm pretty confident this is orange. Uh, on the back here, you can see it's got Luke Skywalker's face up here. On the back, it's pretty basic. There's no information on any other figures in the wave, which I'm a little disappointed by because usually Star Wars uh, packaging has other things you can collect from it, and this is very much just zero one Luke Skywalker. It has a little like two sentence. Actually, it's it's one sentence bio. Luke Skywalker uses the power of the Force and his piloting skills to destroy the Death Star. And there's a little quote: "It'll be just like Beggar's Canyon back home." Uh, so it's pretty, it's pretty basic here. There's a little sort of outline picture back here of Luke climbing into his X-wing. So the packaging, honestly, kind of boring, uh, but I keep it because a lot of these figures have extra accessories, and there's not a lot of places you can really put them, so I leave them in the package but Luke I actually kind of use all of it except for his lightsaber hilt sorry except for his lightsaber blade which is still in the packaging here it might be hard to see on the camera but it's blue and it's in there so let's go over the figure itself first things first I'm gonna give him up close you can see he's wearing his orange uh, jumpsuit that's Luke Skywalker's likeness it kind of is it's not a great likeness honestly of Luke uh, but it's not terrible you definitely can tell that it's Luke um, there's a lot of great detail in this figure, uh, so let's let's take some of the stuff off. This is his helmet, uh, which can oops, which can go on. He comes with his little blast tech uh, pistol right here, uh, and he does have a lightsaber which clips onto his belt. Now the clip is pretty big. The belt clip here that it goes onto is not that sturdy so it will fall off very very easily uh, and that's kind of annoying so he's let's go over posability real quick before we get into the accessories his head is on a swivel and uh, it's like a universal joint it's got a swivel going up and down so it doesn't look up too much though uh, but it might just be that I haven't nope that's about it so I can look down about that much it can look up about that much they go all the way around, which is great. His arms go all the way around, and they move out like this and back in. Uh, he does have a uh, elbow swivel, and then also a hinge at the elbow. Uh, and then his hands have rotation, like so. And then he actually doesn't have... Yes, he does. Uh, he has... Oh man, I don't want to. I don't want to break that. But there is a hinge right there, so it can move. But I definitely don't. I feel like I could break it if I move it uh, too far forward or back. So I'm, um, I'm not going to. Uh, he does not have a waist rotation. He does, however, have uh, sort of a diaphragm, lower chest. I guess is the best way, and that can turn, but it can't go all the way around unfortunately. Um, his hose is connected to the upper thing so it's not connecting the top to the bottom half. It's just kind of going around back here. 
Uh, the webbing down here does hinder some of the posability, but you can sort of move it up and down uh, as you need to. So the legs uh, do move forward, and they move back a little bit, but it is hindered again. Uh, there's an upper thigh rotation, like so. Uh, and then there's actually double jointed knees. So you can get some pretty good pretty good uh, movement out of there. Uh, and then he does have a lower sort of uh, calf or upper ankle swivel. It goes all the way around. And then he does have a foot. Uh, it can go forwards and backwards. And then it does have a rocker. So you can get pretty good wide, uh, wide angle stances, which is nice when you want to pose. Uh, this this figure <laughs> is kind of hard to put in dynamic poses because of the webbing uh, and his flight suit, but I think he looks kind of cool just standing upright. Um, I'm just going to, oops, I'm just going to go ahead and pop his helmet on so you can kind of see that. There he goes. In the package, He's packaged holding the helmet, and I like what that looks like, uh, so I usually have him sitting on the shelf uh, with that. You can see his uh, hand right here is actually molded uh, with a trigger finger, so when you put the gun in his hand, it actually goes to where it should, which is pretty neat. Uh, little things like that I like. Uh, this figure, I feel like he comes with the right amount of, of accessories for a figure like this. He has a gun. Uh, he has a lightsaber, as Luke Skywalker should. The lightsaber is removable, and the helmet comes off. So those are all the things I feel like he really should have. Uh, and I, as we go through the series, I'll give my... There are some figures with tons of accessories. There are some figures that I feel like are super light on the accessories. Uh, but this figure, uh, I feel like he's really good. I feel like he's a little underappreciated. Um, out of 10, I'd probably give him a solid 7 out of 10, worth the money. Uh, but if you can find him, I definitely recommend picking him up. He's a, he's a pretty solid figure. Uh, so this has been Luke Skywalker, uh, figure 1 of Wave 1. And definitely recommend picking him up. Thanks for watching. Bye.